Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a haul of all the cosmetics things I bought in London. Uh, I did my fragrance perfume haul and now it's just all the other makeup product. So let's start with something that kind of caught my eye because it broke somehow and I'm kind of mad because how the fuck. I bought the Maybelline Fit Me uh, pressed powders. I bought two drugstore um, pressed powders on purpose because I don't really use foundation anymore or tinted moisturizer or anything like that. Usually I did bought one thing like that and I'll show you but I don't use it most of the time. I don't really like how it looks on my skin, sit on my skin, and I tried a lot of different things. So what I will usually do is that I use like primer and stuff like that, and then concealer, and then a, a pressed powder, usually pressed powder. And I wanted to try two uh, main uh, drugstore ones, which are the Maybelline and the L'Oreal ones. And I just saw this one broke. You can kind of see it and I'm kind of pissed, but I'll try maybe to just put some tape on it so I'll not get angry looking at it all the time. So yeah, I bought both and I'm really excited to try them. And then I'll try to find all the drugstore stuff that I bought and do them first. I bought two concealers. Uh, the Maybelline Fit Me ones. I bought two shades. Uh, one is, I think, the medium one. It doesn't say now, or at least I don't see, but one is the medium one, and one, I think, was Sand. It's 20 and 25. Uh, I really like the, this concealer, and I wanted, again, to have um, a drugstore one, because I do go through concealers maybe a little faster than most of my uh, makeup products, so to have a good drugstore one is nice. Then I bought I bought a backup and a, like two backups basically because I, I forgot that I ordered like in a package so this one came in like a I think Beauty Bay order that I did and then I also bought a mascara this is my favorite mascara it's the elf lash and roll it's just the best mascara that i ever tried basically and it's a drugstore one and it's kind of cheap drugstore one which i'm really happy about like it doesn't crumble on me it stays it doesn't smudge it doesn't make me look like a freaking panda by the end of the day which so many mascaras do and i'm very happy uh, one I have another favorite from Rimmel, but I didn't found that, but I did found another one, uh, which is a waterproof one, and in the color black brown, which uh, got me excited. This is like in the shape of the mascara that I like from them, that I don't remember the name right now, but it's like in a different color tube. So I'll see, but I was like, let's try it. Then I bought... I went to Superdrug I think and I saw they have some stuff from Oma and especially Oma by Sharon I think it's like the uh, I don't like to use the name like uh, cheaper because it makes it feel cheap like that product itself but it doesn't feel cheap like I really wanted to try this product so I'm happy that they had it uh, I bought I'm sorry I'm just trying to find everything I bought a lip gloss the floss gloss in the shade edible which I was very excited to find and then I kind of went crazy in this one because it's kind of my favorite lip product at the moment and it's like this lip balms like sheer lip balms with a little bit of color I bought high key loud and thirsty and I'm very very excited to try them then, I'm trying to see if there's more um, drugstore stuff here. I think that's it. Oh, okay. I bought the e.l.f. liquid uh, halo glow filter in the shade 2, uh, Fairlight. 
I never tried it. I did have the original like Charlotte Tilbury one and I wasn't the biggest fan, particularly because of the shade that I had. I don't remember now. I think I had the fair shade, but maybe I had like a deeper one because it was kind of orange on me and I didn't really like that. So I tried to find a better one. I hope this will do what I want. I have oily skin, quite an oily skin, but I find that I... I want my skin to look matte but have some kind of glow. It's not the easiest um, uh, result that I want or the preparation for that. So I like to combine more glowy products with like more mattifying um, primers and then like the powder. Uh, so I wanted to try this and I'm very excited too. I think that's it about the um drugstore stuff but they might pop up again then i'm trying to decide how, how I'll, I'll do it i went to boots and super uh, no super drug i said this one where i found all the other stuff i went to boots i went to selfridges i went to harrods i went to john lewis and space mk i didn't buy anything in harrods and john lewis i was not uh, very impressed with them Space and K had some stuff, but Selfridges was my favorite by far. Let's do this. This I actually bought in Space and K. This is the ooh, 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 Aeroborean, Aeroborean, I think. I'm sorry again for mispronouncing it. Um, I bought the Pink Primer and Care and the Skin Hero. I wanted to try these. I heard about them. I also want to try these, like the corrector, the green one. And the matte cream, I really want to try these two. I might order them, I'll see. But yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I want to do with my complexion. As I said, like glowy products and then use something like that. And not really a full foundation. And I'm really excited to try those. Then also from Space MK, uh, I bought this, this Notarium uh, Photo Fido? Fido Glow Lip Balm in Petal. I wanted to try this for a while because everybody talked about these, the Summer Fridays and the Road ones. I have, I think, all the Summer Fridays ones. I really like the, that um, uh, formula. I really like the colors, so I'm happy with them. And I don't have a particular want or need for the Road ones. It's also kind of, I think, impossible for me to get them. I think they only ship to the US and Canada. I'm not sure. Maybe to the UK as well, but I didn't manage to get those. So I bought this color. It seems like a nice uh, everyday color that, that uh, will go with most stuff. And I'm excited to try. I know they came out with all the nude shades, like all the browns. And I so wanted them, but I think they haven't arrived to Space MK yet. So yeah, I also bought this rose ink uh, liquid lip in Motor Flame. I just fell in love with the color. It's like an orangey red. Very excited to try these. Then I'm trying, like I'm not gonna do it in any set, like certain order, like Space and K or Selfridges stuff, because it will just be hard for me to distinguish. I also bought, I was in the Glossier store, I bought the perfume, and I also bought this, oof, I'm not sure I would say this color, Cachette. Uh, this ultra lip I think they call this formula like not the matte one. Oh my god oh my god I'm so sorry I'm so sorry and I don't see it right now so I'll get it later it's getting me. but I got that one then I also got in the Space MK this summer Friday um the new not the new it's actually came out I think in the summer or something but it's new to me because I really thought about if I want to buy it or not, because I'm not really a pink girly, but I thought it will be sheer enough and I really wanted to try the shade because I have all the others, which I do try not to do, like the collector mentality, but I was really excited to try it. I also bought two Viv stuff. I really like Viv. Uh, I already have a video on my channel trying the stuff that I had. Now I also add this mascara it's a new one and the packaging is so luxurious i'm very excited to try it and i really wanted to, to try this liquid uh, light nova glow in bijou so beautiful i'm so excited to try this stuff then I'm all, i also bought a 
smaller one of the Skin Nova because I don't remember if I had it or not, <laughs> which is bad, but as I said, with all the glowy, more um, priming or moisturizing stuff that I want to try, I thought the Skin Nova was a good one to try. It's the mini one, I think I said it. Then I also bought two of the Givenchy a Prism Libre or Prism Libre, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, powders like the loose powders I bought two and three and I'm really excited to try those I know I know I should have chosen one shade but I couldn't decide I really really couldn't and there was like a sale so I just bought the two of them I just bought the two of them I bought the two of them then in selfages I bought two of the Lisa Eldridge uh, liquid uh, eyeshadows I have two and I originally went for a uh, Cressida and Zoa, but Zoa was sold out, and the salesperson really convinced me quite easily to buy Viola, which I'm really excited to try both. Then I bought some Victoria Beckham stuff because I think it was new at Selfridges, so I was excited to try. I'm trying to find the stuff, I think that's all. I bought the Contours. Uh, Ooh, I don't remember how she calls this the style the stylet contour in the lightest shade how for the love of God there's hair on it maybe it was open in my bag but it looks untouched otherwise it was in the package and so I bought that one I bought these um a more I don't know in the beaten lip tint I have I think the color is bijou like the darker berry uh, brown one and I like that but it does kind of cling to my dry patches because of the color and I love this color so I want to try it then I just bought another one of the lid lusters I have a few I bought this in chiffon which is a nice everyday color then I bought this um, Posh lipsticks. This is my first uh, lipstick from Victoria. From Victoria, like she's my friend. From Victoria Beckham in Fringe, which I'm really excited to try. I excited. I'm am excited to try all of these, obviously. Then the one foundation product that I bought is the Fenty Beauty Ease Ease Drop Blur Blur and Smooth Tints uh, Stick. Ooh, mouthful. I had the. Oh, I still have. I'm not sure the like the liquid version i guess and i didn't like that that much but i used to really like foundation sticks so i was like let's try it i bought the shade seven i tried it in the store and i was conflicted between this one seven to four and i hope this will be the right one again kind of bought it because of khaki reviews beauty as I said in my perfume video, she influenced a lot of my purchases. Then, I would say in a fashionably late manner, I bought two of the um, the, the like the lip stain stuff from uh, Fenty Beauty. I bought Zesty Besty and Starberry Sangria. I'm late to the game with these ones but they looked really pretty and they had like uh, I think three for two in boots so I was like okay I'll just buy those then I bought a shell oh my god Charlotte Charlotte why is it so hard to say it Char Charlotte Tilbury I'm sorry that was really weird I bought this highlighter I'm not the biggest fan of Charlotte Tilbury products I'm not gonna lie I do have a few and I used to have more but Again, not the biggest fan. There's some that I really like. The mini like eyeshadow um, palette, like the, I don't know what she called it, like the essentials, I think. I do really like. And I saw Lauren May Beauty talk about this highlighter and uh, the shade that I bought is Champagne Glow and I'm really, really excited to try it. Then I bought this RMS highlighter. I think they call it like, Oof, Redimension Hydra Dew Luminizer, a highlighter, if I may. Uh, I think it's just the one shade they have right now, the Press Coffees. Very pretty. 
then I was so excited. I was at Boots uh, in Covenant Garden and they had this product which I tried to hunt for so long in so many different places and countries. The Neo Nude Melting Color Balm for Cheeks and Eyes by Armani. And I finally found the shade that, oh my God, I've dreamed about. This is shade 20, so beautiful. And then I got the shade 60. I wanted also the shade 30, but they didn't have it in stock. And I was like, just say thank you that they have these. I'm really excited to try this after all this time, because really it's been so long since I started to look for them. I bought these Too Faced, um, I think like a saving set for the holidays. They have like two um, limited editions. One, like the lip treatment, it has the original and the, I think it's called wine and what else it is? Ah, holiday wine and spice cider. And I'm excited. I love this lip treatment. I put it at night. It's, it can get a little sticky after a few hours, but when I wake up, it's still on my lips and I feel like my lips have been, how do you say it? Like when you do this. It get rid of all of my dead skin, basically. I don't know why I forgot that word. Then I bought these two Prada products. I bought the lip balm, cause I love a matte lip balm. Like it's one of my favorite things. And I was really intrigued to try it. And I also bought a, a lipstick. I wanted the soft matte, cause I was afraid that the hyper matte that I did got will be too dry. We'll see, but I really like the shade. I don't know if I can pronounce it like Argyle, maybe. Then I bought this Shantakai uh, shadow. I was on the fence about this shadow for like two months since this collection came out, the horse one, because A, I'm not the, the biggest fan of <laughs> horses, and B, I have a beef with Shantakai. It's very much a one-sided beef, obviously, but I have a few of the products and I don't feel the luxury that should come with that freaking price tag. Like this packaging is not like weighted or anything special at all. All the other stuff that I have of them is also that way. I have a bronzer that literally weights nothing and it's so disappointing. The products themselves are hit and miss. Some of them are beautiful, some of them are less. I also bought the uh, summer collection that they had last year with the neon packaging that I really love. But again, not weighted, a plastic packaging that I like, but it's not very luxury, is it? And I don't know, it's very expensive. And then they donate to like, I think an animal organization, but I think they only donate like 1% of their sales and they're like, it's so expensive and yeah i'm mad but this shade pinto really got me again kind of because of lauren uh, may beauty but it's also just so beautiful like i put it on my hand and then i was like yeah you're coming home with me i also bought this by terry uh, brightening and cc serum in nude glow uh, uh, 2.5 sorry i'm so excited about this one Again, something that I wanted for a long, long while, uh, even before they had this shade. I wanted the Sunny Flash one, and I got a mini of it like a long time ago, but it was kind of, not obviously, because I think some people even in my shade use it, but I didn't like how it looked on me. So I'm so happy that they released newer shades, and I really like this one. Then I bought this Drunk Elephant Big Goldie Bright Drops. Again, this, this by Terry, the Elf one, the Skin Nova one from Viv, they are all serving the same purpose. Obviously, maybe shouldn't have bought all of them at the same time, but I will use them like one after the another and then hopefully find my Holy Grail one, which is my mission, but yeah. Then I bought these mascaras, these YSL mascaras, even though I'm having a, a war with the mascaras at the moment. A lot of my mascaras that I tried were so disappointing and they are in the be, be ashamed pile in the corner. And I did bought this 
two Draxel one. I mean one that I know that I love, the Elf one, and I bought backups. And I do try the Rimmel one, but this one, this one is expensive. But a Hot Mess Tom and Khaki Beauty, and I think tons of other people have been talking about this mascara for a long, long time. So I was like, let's just try it. I bought it in like a special packaging, packaging like a, a gift set. I bought the blue one and the regular black one. I wanted the black brown one, but obviously it was the one that I didn't have. And I really wanted to try a blue mascara because I don't have one. So I'm very excited to try those to see if they live up for the hype. Then I bought this Armani lipstick in 117. This is the matte formula, the newer one. I'm very very excited to try it. it looks so pretty i'm very excited about everything i'm sorry then i bought this ysl new lipsticks i think it's the newer formula i think this is the rouge pour couture love the packaging again a khaki purchase uh, like a khaki <laughs> a purchase that was uh, influenced by khaki this is an m and this one is an 11 sorry if you hear noise love the colors so very happy to try this trying that nothing will fall i also bought this ysl couture mini clutch again can you guess why can you guess why khaki and lauren may beauty Woo. oh the brushes okay i don't need them i think i can just leave them look at this i bought this in 100 look how pretty it is Ho, ho, ho. So, so, so happy to have it and try it. Then I bought three Bobbi Brown products. I think one of them is like the holiday stuff for this year. Not sure. I bought this duo. Oh, sorry. This duo. It's... Looks... Lux Eyeshadow Duo in Frosted and Supernova looks so beautiful a little bit pinky this one is the Lux eyeshadow quad uh, I don't know they say it's like exclusive to Selfridges I think it was like a lunar uh, year release or something it's gorgeous gorgeous and the last product that I bought uh, from Bobbi Brown and in general this is the Lux eye and glow palette so pretty this is in cool glow so happy to have all of these and to try them in my next videos uh, thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one bye